Your girl is kind of sad, y'all. I mean, you can have it all and still be utterly and thoroughly depressed. And I'm like, God, I don't stand a chance. Like, <laughs> how am I living in all my answered prayers and I don't feel you. God, what is going on, my father? I love you. I miss you. I'm just to say it's usually when I'm at work because work be stressing me out, y'all. If you want to see how I put together this look with this irresistible me synthetic wig, stay tuned and keep on watching. So I want to start this video off by thanking irresistible me for sending me this vegan fiber wig. That's just code word for synthetic. I was sent this brown highlight 32 inch wig to try on and style for you guys. Now, one of my favorite things about this company is 100% their packaging. It's very elevated packaging. Their products come very neatly packaged. This is advertised as pre-styled. And as you can see, this is a throw it on and go kind of wig. I really appreciate the tint of this lace. It matches me very well and I'm surprised because I did not even specify a lace tint or anything before sending. One thing to know about this wig is that there is not much parting space at all. I'm pretty sure that's an inch and a half, maybe two. So just be aware of that before you buy it. But as you can see, this hair is cute, y'all. Very silky, no smell. And thank you, Irresistible Me, again for this hair. Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. This is Amira Records, a place where I cinematically record my life, document the journey of what started at age 19, but I'm 21 now, so just documenting my 20s. I focus heavily on faith, lifestyle, beauty, fashion. So if you think I might be your new favorite YouTuber, keep watching okay you guys so today i am just doing a little chit chat get ready with me i haven't done one of those in a while and i've been down the past couple of days so i figured when you look good you feel good so i'll do my hair i'll do my makeup just make myself up feel pretty and just talk to you guys while i do it and show y'all how i take this wig from no to who that First, I am going to wash my face, get a glowy base going, and then we'll hop into the makeup. So I'm just gonna go wash my face off, and then we will jump right into the chit chat. Get ready with me. Alrighty, so now that my face is all clean, done my skincare routine, we can go into our makeup and into today's discussion. All right, so boom. Your girl is kinda sad, y'all. Ugh. I really hate to say it because I've been having such a good year. God has been so good to me this year between the move, the car, the independence, the finances, the identity. Everything has been splendid. When things are good like that, I kind of feel bad about admitting to feeling any negative emotion. How do you have time to be sad when all of this is happening in your life? And don't get me wrong, I put an emphasis on being appreciative every single day. I thank God double time for what he has done, what he is doing, and what he's going to do. So I'm still thanking God. I'm just further learning the fact that things, other people, possessions, status will never satisfy you. It will always be God because I've been very happy and very on fire for God before with nothing with literally nothing none of my dreams were coming true nothing that i really wanted had come into fruition yet and i've also had days where i've had everything that i prayed for and i felt so far from god not far as in living in a state of sin but just not being able to feel him how i used to and it's been kind of discouraging and it kind of put me in a lamentations kind of mood. For, I'll say a couple of days there, I went through this whole, what is the meaning of life? What is this life if you can have everything, but it feels like nothing? I kind of was like, what's the point? Not in a super bad, super depressing kind of way, but it was just, what in the world is this life for? If you can have everything and still not be happy. 
You can have the money, the family, the love, the house, the car, and still be utterly and thoroughly depressed. And I'm like, God, I don't stand a chance. Like, what? So I was like, what is my path? Where am I going? Because I still don't have everything, you know, I desire. And knowing that getting those things isn't going to fix a single problem made me realize I need to be my happiest right now. Like if all my prayers are answered, I could still be depressed. So I don't need to wait on anything to be happy. That means I need to take captive my happiness now, right? So I was just in a period of trying to figure out what that looks like, how I can have happiness each and every single day. And of course, I came to the realization that true happiness only comes from God. It only comes from communing with the Father. I could have nothing and it feel like everything with God and I could have everything and it feel like nothing without God. So I'm on this path of trying to make sure I'm not always in a state of asking for more or believing that the next answered prayer is going to get me to the level of happiness that I'm looking for. God is essentially the answer. And so then once I got through those couple days where I was kind of sad and figuring out the meaning of life, I was like, okay, if God is the answer, then that means, not that I'm just figuring this out, I've been knew God was the answer, but since God is the answer, I just need to work on my relationship with him daily, right? I need to get back consistent because I have not been as consistent as I have been in other seasons of my life. There are plenty of days where I was just getting up, not reading, not praying, just going on about my day. Well, actually, I'm not going to say not praying because I speak to God. I'll say I wasn't devoting sacred time for prayer. I would talk to God throughout the day. I would lament to him. I would thank him, but I wasn't setting aside time for prayer, like getting on your knees, putting your hands together, just thanking God, just sitting and soaking in his presence. So I was making time for that again and I wasn't feeling him. I was not feeling God. I've gone through times in my life before where I'll pray or I'll reach out to God and it feels like I don't hear back from him. And all I've had to do is stay consistent and that fire came. It was like the Holy Ghost just pours into your room, over your body, over your mind, over your thoughts, and boom, you're back. You feel God, you see God, you're living out your life every day thinking about God. All of your actions are just god led god driven right and i was trying i was trying to stay consistent i was trying to get to that point where i felt like god was back even though i know he never leaves us but it just wasn't happening i might have have had one or two good sessions in the whole time that i was trying to get back to god and it was really discouraging because you're going through these things in your head and you're looking for relief and you're just like god please give me something like let me feel something and when you don't really feel something you get discouraged it just feels very frustrating and so i was like god what is going on or how am i living in all my answered prayers and i don't feel you i don't have that deep deep connection that we used to have what is going on my father i love you i miss you now i do need to say i realize god is not a feeling we're gonna go through ebbs and flows in our walk we're not always going to be on fire we're not always going to feel how we felt in previous seasons i know that god is always here he wants us to persevere i just never realized how discouraging it actually is to be pleading out and crying out for God and not get the same comfort that you got in other seasons. It didn't feel like God left. I still would experience God. I still would get good messages, but things just weren't seeping in how they used to. That's not just, you know, on God. It is probably me not being as consistent as I was in previous seasons and me not making time doing the things that I was doing in other seasons. When I tried to mimic those things, it just didn't feel feel right and I would fall out of it and it was just a lot y'all and I'm not even going to speak about this as if it's past tense because I'm still kind of going through some of the things I'm still trying to really get that consistency just seek God fully 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 there are just a lot more times during my day where God is not at the forefront of my mind I am good at staying close to God when I'm alone when I'm in my room when I'm in my car I'm on him 
I'm with him. It's usually whenever I'm like out and about, I'm at work. I mean, I'm just saying, it's usually when I'm at work because work be stressing me out, y'all. Work stresses me out in this season. I really don't like it and I'm really praying about it. When I'm at work, it's just hard to keep God first. It's hard to remember to love, remember to be patient and kind. And so when I get back from work, I'm like, ugh, I wasn't as patient as I could have been. I wasn't as kind as I could have been. And then I just get on this whole path where I'm like, oh, I'm such a bad Christian God. I can't do anything right. And it just starts this whole thing. And then I have to try again the next day. It has been a journey, y'all. I don't want to say I'm backsliding because backsliding is a state of living in sin. I'm not going to say I'm living in sin. I am trying. I am seeking God. I am being cognizant of him it's just that i'm not doing as good of a job as i have in previous seasons and i'm very hard on myself i'm very hard on myself so i don't make excuses for it i don't tolerate it i don't say oh well god is forgiving you're fine try again the next day no so it's just been very difficult for me to bounce back in this season every time i fall off every time i'm like okay god i'm locked in I'm gonna read my Bible every single day this week, twice a day, we're gonna get back to how we were. And then I mess up and then I'm just like, God, I'm such a liar. I know you hate me. I know you're pissed at me. Like, ah, it's been a little difficult, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie, but I'm knowing this is a season. I will get that fire back. And even in the meantime, I will serve. I will keep getting back up. I will keep trying because at the end of the day, that's all we can do. I need to invite God in more. I'm a very, I can do it. I can do it. I got it. My discipline and consistency is going to get me through this, but I really need to surrender to God more and tell him I cannot do this. I actually am not capable. I actually will fail. I actually am not good at this at all. And without you, if you are not here, I'm going to fail again. I'm trying to get that mindset instead of this I got it mindset that has been failing me. So a lot of things that I mastered in previous seasons, they're just looking different right now. And that's okay because every time that I sit and realize this is a lifelong journey with God, this is not a race to the finish line. This is not a, a master class. Oh, I'm going to master God in 2024 and then I'm going to be this perfect Christian. No, this is a lifetime relationship. I'm going to go through so many things with my father. I'm not focused on getting it perfect. I'm just focusing on progressing. Hold on, I'm gonna do this mascara because I can't talk and do it. I've tried. All right, y'all, so my quick little 10 minute makeup look is done. I promise y'all, I don't do too much. Now we're gonna move on to the hair. I just wanna talk about Irresistible Me Hair for a second, who sent me this synthetic wig i am going to be styling it it is synthetic so that means maybe that hairline thick too much plucking i'm not gonna pluck it like crazy this is not gonna be a natural oh that looks like her hair kind of installed if you know what i mean very long this touches my butt and i am five six yeah it's pretty long this is the long layered dark highlight this is a vegan fiber wig 32 inches it says that it comes pre-styled mine just came pushed all the way back so if that's the style they were going for then maybe that's what they mean by pre-styled there are many clips in there to secure it and the wig cap is very tight i will definitely say this is one of those wigs you do not need glue for it if you're okay with that synthetic wig kind of look this is a part it and go kind of wig Speaking of parting, there's not a lot of parting space. I think it's like two inches. I believe if you go for a flip over look or just a very shallow part, those are the styles that you can do with this. I love this color. Oh my goodness, y'all. This color is so fine, like really messing with it. And yeah, we're just gonna see what look we can do with Miss Swig. Now if I wrote you a love note and made you smile at every word I wrote that make you wanna change your scene and wanna be the one on my team. See what's the point in waiting anymore? Cause girl, I never been more sure. Baby, it's you. This ring here represents my heart and everything that you've been waiting for. Just say I do because. 
hands. I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You can be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away 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 my love. my love. So don't give away my love. So this is the finished product. This is the makeup in the hair. I think it turned out pretty cool for a synthetic wig. I think with synthetic wigs, more dramatic hairstyles are favorable, maybe like bangs or volume, things that aren't quite as sleek and neat because you can't bleach the knots and you're gonna be able to see how thick the hairline is and stuff like that. So I think for someone with very little experience on synthetic wig, it looks pretty cool to me. This is a very plop on and go. Love these colors. I think I might actually look into getting maybe a sew-in or something because this is so cute. Like, I love this color on me, stop. But yes, y'all, that is all I have for you today. Like I was saying in my talk, I'm on this whole journey. It's a never ending one. There is no end date until the day I die. There is no waking up mastering this. I'm just going throughout my life trying. That's all I can really do. Even with this YouTube channel, I have a lot of goals and aspirations that I want to get to through this channel. And I'm constantly praying about that, constantly surrendering, but also still realizing that be mature, but God is ultimately going to mature me. Like this is not something that I'm going to do myself. He's going to come in and put the pieces together and make it all make sense. If you're in a season like I am where everything feels up in the air, you kind of feel like you're backsliding, you're kind of don't feel that fire. Some weeks you're consistent, some weeks you're not. Sometimes you feel like you're this close to everything and other days you feel like you're so far. Just remember to surrender it all to God because that's all I'm doing right now is trying and this too shall pass. So thank y'all for tuning into my video and I will see y'all in my next upload.